Hey guys, so what I thought I'd do today is um, basically show you a little fix you can do. Um, if you've got a Sega Saturn and you're plugging it into your TV and you're not getting any picture but you can hear sound, um, there's probably a likelihood that you've got a SCART cable and you're trying to hook that up to your TV. Now if you hook it up to another TV you may well get a picture, um, but as you can see, oh, it might, it's not going to come up with the sound now, but there you go. See, no picture at all. Um, if I, actually, if I look really close, there is like a really sort of faint sort of red pattern on there. But if I quickly turn it off, you can see a faint little, uh, well, a really quick uh, glimpse of the picture. Um, so basically what the case is here, that the picture is there, it's just that the TV is not showing it. Now, you've got to think to yourself, is it really going to be the TV or is it more likely to be the satin or the satin cable? and I'll tell you it's the satin cable. Um, I was having a look around um, basically because this issue popped up, I've just got a new TV um, I say new, <laughs> it's from like 2002 but um, basically replaced my other Sony Trinitron that unfortunately bit the dust uh, but yeah this one, um, every other console works just fine and this just audio and nothing else and it was really bugging me so um, I had a look around like I said on the internet, I couldn't find any uh, solution to it but I found a lot of people who had the same problem um, so what I thought I'd do is have a quick look inside the SCART cable so if I just turn that off and yank the cable out uh, what I'll do is I'll just unscrew this so yeah basically I've popped it open And what I found was, um, it is definitely an RGB uh, SCART cable. You've got the red, green and blue on there. They're on the correct pins. You've got the audio up here, left, ground and right. Or it might be right, ground and left, I'm not sure. Um, interestingly enough, uh, pin 8, which I think is uh, it's either this one or this one here, um, that should be your uh, AV switching function and that's actually not connected um, but what you have got connected at the bottom here is you've got composite video which is fine on the bottom um, that's also used for sync in RGB uh, you've got um, zero volts here which is ground obviously um, and the next one up here this is quite important this is uh, video blanking and what this does is it tells the TV what it should be um, accepting from the SCART cable so if you put um, 0 to 4, 0 to 0 0.4 volts, I think it is, on this pin, uh, it will output from the composite video. If you put uh, 1 to 3 volts on here, you'll get RGB. Now this satin cable, I'm not sure if it's an official cable or not, to be honest, because there's no actually no actual Sega branding on it. Um, it looks official, but I'm not entirely sure. But basically, this is actually putting 12 volts on this pin. And 12 volts is actually what should be, oh, I can't remember which one again, um, on the function switching pin, which is pin 8. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this off of here, I'm going to um, put it on the function switching pin, and this little resistor here, this is a 1K resistor, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to have that going from the uh, 12 volt on the function switching pin to the uh, blanking pin, and that should bring us down to around about 3 volts and hopefully then we should get an RGB picture out of it at the very least uh, we should get a composite picture um, but yeah we'll see I'll, uh, hook, I'll change that over and then I'll uh, show you guys what I mean alright so what I thought I'd do here is basically just um, show you guys how what, what exactly I'm doing um, again this is the um, blanking pin and this is the 12 volt cable here um, I know this is 12 volt by the way because I um, got my multimeter out and I put my ground here and my um, positive here and yeah it came up 12 volts so I'm just going to pull this off here or desolder it rather and this is this pin here next to the audio this is the one we want to be actually soldering it to so I'm just going to fill this up with solder or solder if you're American 
never really understood that why they had to uh, drop the L, but never mind. <laughs> uh, so, just pop that in there. There we go. And where's my resistor gone? There we are. I've already trimmed this. So I'll just poke this in here with this. Or not. <laughs> I'll tell you what I'll actually do. I'll just tin the uh, resistor there. This is kind of a uh, on the fly video, so I'm sorry if it's a bit dodgy or shockingly poor quality. <laughs> I'll try better next time. Yeah, I'll just solder this in here. There we go. And we'll bridge it over to that blinking cable. I thought it fitting that I do it on a PS1. <laughs> of course the PS1 is battling me because it keeps on opening the lid. Which I've just realised you've probably got a loud buzzing in your ears. And that's because I'm, you're right next to the TV. I should have should have thought about that before I started. Oh well. I apologise. Right, so that's in there. So what I'm just going to do now <laughs> is I'm just going to put that back together and plug it in and try it out. Okay, so I've uh, put the scart back, scartly back in the back of the TV. And I'm just going to flick it on and fingers crossed. Yeah, and there you go. So yeah, I'm guessing that some um, TVs are just more tolerant uh, than others when it comes to this. Yeah, what a nice picture. Lovely RGB picture. So yeah, like I say, I guess some some TVs are just more tolerant to this. This one. Um, I'm guessing it's definitely more strict, and to be honest, I think it should be really. Um, you know, you could, you could have damaged the TV having it sort of plugged in this way, so um, definitely best to have it done properly. Um, but yeah, so I'm not saying this is definitely going to fix your problem if you've got the same issue, um, but it's probably a decent chance if you're using a SCART lead, and obviously if you're in the UK, because if you're not, then you won't have a SCART lead, but. Um, yeah, try it out if you've got this problem and uh, let me know in the comments section below and I'll see you guys later. So just for a little bonus I thought I'd show you the uh, main board for my Saturn. <laughs> you may notice a ridiculous amount of wires over here. This is the uh, multi BIOS um, with the Japanese and English BIOS of course on there and that ch little chip there is Seb's mod. And here's my tricolor LED. Yeah, wow. <laughs> that was such a pain in the ass to do. But yeah, there you go. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you later.